What's up guys, Jay Tails here with another video, and today I'm bringing to you guys a Terry Bogard guide with a hand cam so you can see how I'm doing my input. Um, I know a lot of you guys who play Smash are not too familiar with traditional fighting games, so that's why I decided to include a hand cam to show off the inputs that I'm performing. Before you watch this video, if you have not seen my movement guide video, make sure you check that out because it goes over how to short hop and fast fall and do your aerials um, effectively. And a lot of things that Terry does require those types of inputs. So the link is in the description. Make sure you check out that video in tandem with this one. Otherwise, let's get right into it, shall we? So very quickly, I'm going to go over some of the true inputs that Terry has. The first one being uh, the burning knuckle. Um, for the true input on burning knuckle, you want to do down, quarter circle forward, and as soon as you hit the forward, you hit A. I like to do it with A so that if I mess up, I know that I'm just going to get a jab or a tilt. But if I do it with B and I mess up, I won't be able to really tell the difference. Obviously, there's a green flare, but um, so let me just show you guys the burning knuckle real quick. Right? So it's just a quick, quick input. Down forward, uh, you just sl slide the analog stick from down to forward, and then you hit A as soon as you get to forward, right? So that's the burning knuckle. Second input is just going to be the same thing, but backwards. So down, forward, back, A. And this gives us crack shoot. Right? So just rotating from down to left and then hitting A when we get to left. It's all a quick input, quick motion. Um, as for Terry's invincible up B, for this you're gonna hold down for a short while, and then you hit up and A. You can use B as well if you want, but you just charge it for, I think it's about a second and a half, you don't have to charge it that long, and then up A simultaneously. And this deals more damage, it has invincibility on startup, and it also KOs better than just the regular up B, right? So this is the one that you're going to want to use while you're recovering, and this is the one you're going to want to use in your combos as well. Um, the variations of Burning Knuckle and Crack Shoe also KO better than the regular versions of them by just pressing side B. It won't really KO as well as the quarter circle forward variant, so definitely keep that in mind. As for Power Dunk, you're going to do a Shoryuken motion, which is going to be forward, down, forward, A, right? So just forward, down, forward, A. And that's the true version. It deals more damage and ends up KOing as well a lot earlier than just the down B version. But the down B version is also pretty strong, so definitely keep that in mind. So I'll just show you guys again. Forward, down, forward, A, right? So, and it's just all in a fast motion. And then you press A as soon as you get that last forward input. Now, when Terry is above 100%, he gets access to special moves, or as Sakurai called them, super special moves. Power Geyser and Buster Wolf. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how to perform those, and then we'll get into the meat and potatoes of this guide. Definitely guys, I encourage you to slow down this video if you need to watch the inputs again. YouTube has a function where you can play in 0.5 speed. Um, you can re-watch and slow down the video to see the exact motions that I'm doing on the controller. So for Power Geyser, you're going to do a quarter circle back, forward, and A, right? Quarter circle back, forward, A. I'll just show it off again. Right, all in one motion. For Buster Wolf, you're gonna do a double quarter circle forward with A at the end of the last forward input, right? So quarter circle forward, quarter circle forward A. That's what you're gonna be doing. And that's how you get the Buster Wolf input. And this KO is extremely early, so this is probably gonna be one of your most used inputs with this character. Now, let's talk about what are your starting combos with Terry. So, the main thing you're going to be looking for is jab, jab, Shoryuken. 
And I say sure you can because the input is a forward down forward input. Um, and this deals a lot of damage, 27 damage. If you want to do it the easy way, you can just do jab, jab, down B. And make sure that you're buffering the down B. Notice how this one dealt only 21 damage because this wasn't the true input. So it deals less damage and less knockback um, because of this. Alternately, you can do actually down tilt, jab, jab, down B. Or down tilt, jab, jab, sure you can. So this is Terry's main bread and butter that you're going to be using to rack up a lot of damage. Um, you can also do it off of a Nair for a lot, a lot of damage as well. Your main goal with Terry is going to be to land a Nair or to land jabs in neutral. So if Ganondorf does something laggy, I can just dash in right after and start my combo and get big damage, right? Your low percent combos out of throw are going to be you grab your opponent with Z or whatever your grab button is, down throw, up air, down B. And that also deals about 35% damage. After they've taken some damage, I want to say below 50%. You won't be able to do down throw, up air, down B. You'll have to do down throw, up air, up B. And this deals a lot of damage as well. Make sure that you're buffering the up B after the up air if you want it to connect. Remember that Terry can special cancel his aerials. As soon as the aerial connects, you can perform another action. So I'm going to go for a down air, quarter circle forward A. Right? And that's a true combo. So only certain aerials can be cancelled. You'll notice if I do a forward air and try to cancel it, nothing will happen. As well as if I hit with a back air and try to cancel it, nothing will happen, right? I'll just get a buffered input. But if I do a nair and try to cancel it, it guarantees me into burning knuckle. Nair, down air, and up air can all be cancelled on hit with a special move. So check it out. Right? So as soon as I connect with the move, I can do any other any other special move. Kind of like Ryu and Ken, right? So that's important to know when you're playing Terry. So after your opponent's at, you know, kind I want to say low percent, right? 0 to 35 is low percent. You want to hit them with another really good combo. Right? So we've hit Ganondorf with another really good combo. Now Ganondorf should be ready to be KO'd. Um, this might not actually KO him, but we can give it a shot, right? You can actually cancel your forward tilt into your super special move, which is just forward tilt, double quarter circle forward A, right? So I'll just show you guys again for reference and timing. I'm using the C stick for my forward tilt, if you, if you notice. Um, I'm just hitting this. You know why? So that I can already start performing the input and it doesn't interfere with my other thumb performing the motions. So I'm using the C stick to tilt rather than forward and A because I don't want to mess up my my inputs that are going on here. So I would recommend playing Terry with tilt stick on because it just makes things a little bit easier, right? So forward tilt and as soon as it connects we're going to pretty much be pressing A. So as I'm performing forward tilt, I'm already starting my double quarter circle forward. So that's kind of like how you want to time that cancel. It's kind of hard in the heat of battle, but you kind of get used to it. Yeah. So make sure that you practice how to cancel out of your forward tilt into his super specials for guaranteed KOs. The next cancel we're going to talk about is going to be into Power Geyser. And this is going to be up tilt on the C stick. And then while we're up tilting, we're already going to be inputting our Power Geyser input. So let's try it out here. This will kill opponents who are 100% and up. Like right now, it should kill Ganondorf. Yeah. So definitely make sure that you understand that confirm and it's really good for opponents who are coming from above you. You can just stuff them out with your up tilt and then go into power geyser for the KO. Um, power geyser is just really good as an anti-air as well. It hits really high up. Yeah, it hits really high up and deals about 27 to 30 damage. So it's a really good move just to anti-air and hit people who like to jump a lot. Another pretty cool KO confirm is going to be a 
falling nair into rising nair and then you cancel that second nair into the quarter circle forward a burning knuckle you can also combo into power dunk as well I want to talk a little bit about Terry's neutral game plan. So, for the most part, I think you're going to be wanting to use Power Wave. You can use the slow Power Wave to kind of chase behind and apply pressure, right? Kind of like a la Pikachu. Um, it's a little bit slower, but if your opponent blocks this, you can kind of go for a grab. Or you can start jabbing and pressuring their shield. Um, if you just want to zone, you will use the strong Power Wave, which is just tapping the B button hard. And holding it soft power wave is just tapping the B button softly and not for very long you don't hold it so notice how lightly I'm pressing that B button gives you the slow version that you can kind of chase behind so this is a really good neutral tool for you to get in and apply pressure or force your opponent to jump and then you can find your up tilt into power geyser because they're gonna be jumping over your power waves right um, or you can force them to jump and then use your crack shoot or um, any of your other strong hitting moves that can punish their landings. So Terry's kind of a bait and punish. I feel like he's kind of a mid-range character. Um, he's not the best in your face, but obviously he gets really good combos. And he's not great at long distance, so I feel like mid-range is always usually best for him. Crap shoot is really good for, for closing distances. If people are like not approaching or trying to do stuff far away from you, you can really use this as a burst option and it's one of the safer options that Terry has. Even if it's blocked, it's likely to cross up, so I would recommend using it just to apply pressure and to fake out your opponent. Get them scared, make them want to shield, and then once they start shielding, then you come in with your grabs, get them in the air, Try to find your up air up B. Um, if you're trying to edge guard a character like Fox, you can actually use your down B to go under the stage. And this is really good against characters that recover vertically from the ledge. So I would recommend setting this up against Lucina, Marth, Fox, uh, any character that likes to really hug that wall for their recoveries. If you're trying to actually perform your Side B in the other direction, you have to make sure that you're holding the other way at least for two seconds before inputting it, right? So let's say if I jump off stage facing right and I hit back B, I'm just gonna crap shoot and die, right? But if I hold left as I jump off, I'll actually do the crap shoot in the opposite direction. So just make sure that if you're trying to reverse your direction, that you're holding the opposite direction for quite some time first. Same thing, if you're trying to get a back air, what you're gonna wanna do is run in one direction and then press back in the opposite direction. Jump as you press back, right? So if I wanna back air Ganondorf, I can run at him, back jump, and then I would hit right on my C stick, right? So if you ever do want to find a back air, you can do it by running and then turning around. So this is an important motion so that you can get certain KOs that you might need with back air, but if you don't have your back facing your opponent, then it's gonna be a little bit harder to, uh, to get. One big issue I have with Terry is that none of his B moves actually snap to the ledge and this is a huge and important weakness to talk about. A lot of people are saying, ah, they'll figure it out, it's not that bad, but no, this is really, really bad, you guys. His recovery is almost as bad as Little Max. I'm not even exaggerating. So notice how Terry does not grab the ledge. With Burning Knuckle, he won't grab it either with crap shoot either see it miss it doesn't grab to the ledge um power dunk doesn't grab it either and the worst part is rising tackle doesn't even grab it either take a look at terry's feet as well as the ledge You'll notice Terry's legs are actually protruding from the stage. 
And I know you guys are thinking, but Terry has invincibility if you do, if you hold down. Yes, he does. However, there is a brief amount of time to which he won't have invincibility. He, he will be invincible a little bit while he's protruding above the ledge, but then there's a point where that invincibility runs out and he can get spiked or hit, right? So notice how he's still not grabbing. So the move just ended, right? Terry is not invincible right now. He has no invincibility, but he's still not grabbing the ledge either. So he can be spiked right now. He can still be spiked. He can still get spiked. He can st All right, so he's still not invincible. These are his two frames of ledge grab animation. Now he's grabbed it. Now he's invincible, right? But did you guys see all that time that it took for him to gain any sort of invincibility after the kick was over? So good players are going to see this and they're definitely going to capitalize on this huge weakness that Terry has. If you're below 100%, you're probably going to be looking for a jab jab by the ledge into Shoryuken to get KOs. And that will kill KO Ganondorf at about 120, so it's not terrible, but once again, you have to land this jab, which is going to be really hard against opponents who are shielding. Obviously, you can also land the Nair into jab, um, soft Nair, but for the most part, it's going to be really tough to get that. Um, so I can actually go into jab, jab, and then invincible up B. And this will also KO people. Um... A little bit later than power dunk but it's just another option that you have also if people are gonna hit your shield remember that you can hold two shield buttons and tilt your shield down and still get the invincible rising tackle so the reason for holding two shield buttons is so that you can tilt without spot dodging right if I only hold one shield button and I tilt down Terry will spot dodge see but if I hold two shield buttons and tilt down, I can actually charge the rising tackle. Whoops. And get the high damage invincible rising tackle. So make sure that you're incorporating these two shield buttons while you're trying to play out of shield and charge your rising tackle. But a uh, rising tackle out of shield is a super good option. When people hit your shield, you can just make sure you're charging it and then punish them out of your shield and get some sweet KOs that way. Make sure you're using rising tackle out of shield. It's really strong. Obviously, Terry has a strong dash attack as well and a very, very strong forward smash. These moves are very high commitment though, so I'd be very, very careful with them. But you can try KOing with his forward smash. It'll KO even at like 100%. Um, his dash attack's pretty strong too. So you can use that to try and KO, as well as just a raw burning knuckle when opponents least expect it. Uh, but once again, that is also punishable on shield, so if your opponent blocks it, you're in for a world of hurt. Be very, very careful with throwing out these moves willy-nilly. Um, I could go more into the uh, spot dodge cancel up tilt. Um, so every character in this game can actually do a spot dodge cancel. This is not unique to Terry at all. So a lot of people are like, wait, talk about his his spot dodge counter, his uh, you know, his up tilt counter. Guys, it's it's not a counter. It it's just a spot dodge cancel. And the main thing is that it gives him upper body invincibility. So that means it's really good against aerial opponents and it's good anti-air. But if someone's on the ground and you're gonna spot dodge cancel, it's going to be hard to hit them, first of all. And number two, they can still punish your legs and your body. Be careful if you're trying to abuse this tactic. It's not as good as you think it is. People can wait out the spot dodge and then punish Terry. So make sure that if you are going to use this, that you're punishing something coming from the air. Because that's where your invincibility is, on the upper body, but not on the lower body. A really sick combo that you can do if, um, if your opponent's at low percent is actually back air into forward tilt cancel into Buster Wolf. Yeah, so that deals a ton of damage from 10 to 70%. And this also, if you have max rage, will kill Sheik at about 0% if you can land it on her. So any character that's lighter than Sheik and you can land this on, you're going to do really, really well there. 
Um, also, falling up air is just a good aerial if you're trying to look for combos, but be careful, it doesn't really work on small characters. It does, but it's really hard to land. So if you're trying to do like falling up air, up B, stuff like that, make sure that you're fighting a tall opponent. Um, but you can definitely use falling up air as a landing option and try to like punish with burning knuckle or something else thereafter. Down B also has invincibility while it's rising up. So if anyone's gonna jump on top of you with an attack, you can actually contest them with down B just for some damage, right? Or you can do, do the short you can input. My favorite part about his jab jab combo is that jab jab down B is that it will always work even at 190%. They won't fall out of it. Right, so you can always score that KO in that manner, as well as down tilt, jab, jab, down tilt on the C stick, jab, jab, down B, or if you want to be sure you can input. Right, feel free to leave comments and let me know if I missed anything or if you have any questions, I'd be happy to help out. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful, and please consider subscribing to the channel if you found this helpful and enjoyable. I make tons of tutorials like this almost every day, so it'd be awesome if you stuck around. Thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you all next time.